Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chandrika and this is Rika Life. So I'm actually ready to make my donations next week. Um, I have baby caps, I have baby blankets, and I actually just finished um, the last one today and I wanted to share it with you. Um, you might have seen it in my previous video. This was the one, that's what it looks like. I'll just open that up for you. So it has grays, red, and then it has a green um, that actually is changing different shades of green. You can see there, this is a beautiful shells um, pattern that I had linked in my earlier video. And I wanted to show you this yarn, um, not the green one in particular, but the gray and the red. So I wanted to show you this yarn because this is a yarn that we say is uh, more chain spun and so it looks like there's little chains and links in there. I don't know if you can see that in there. But the reason why I wanted to show you that is because I'm actually, um, if you saw my last video, I was talking about um, shawls that I'm making for cancer patients uh, because they get very cold in the hospital. So I've been, um, originally I was making caps for the patients the cancer patients and now I'm actually starting to make shawls so I wanted to share with you a shawl that I'm making it's from Bag O'Day Crochet um, from Crystal by Bag O'Day and I am using Karen Blossom Cakes and these came out at Michael's and I purchased six of them so this is the colorway passion fruit and just to let you know a little bit about this yarn this yarn is 61 percent cotton and 39 percent acrylic it's an eight ounce ball it's 481 yards it, it recommends an h or five millimeter hook and it's a medium four weight this is passion fruit and um i'm actually using a k hook by susan bates uh, because i'm making a shawl and i wanted it to be more flowy um so this is passion fruit color that i bought and i actually bought two other colorways this is pink grapefruit and this one is blossoms so of course these two are similar but um this has more purples in it this has more pinks in it um but I really I as you know me I fell in love with the colors and I haven't um this was my first time using a chain spun yarn I hadn't really used it aside from this project that I just showed you and the one that I'm about to show you so uh let me just make some space here so I'm using the passion fruit and this is the beginning of the shawl that I'm making this is the bag o day uh, crochet pattern um, it's a simple two row repeat and the colors are coming out so beautifully there's oranges there's pinks there's purples um, I could have used an even larger hook um, I'm using a K I could have used like a M or an N and it might have been kind of lighter and airier but um, because it's my first time using this yarn uh, this is really just a trial and error for me so this is the same kind of yarn as the as the uh the beautiful shells blanket I just showed you so I don't know if you can tell but the way it's you can see those links and those chains in there and so I wasn't actually sure what pattern to use for these cakes and so I have had them for about two months now. Um, <clears throat> and then when I saw this shawl, so this shawl in the pattern, it's actually, she uses a yellow yarn and it's a, I think it's like a two weight or maybe, maybe a three weight. And so what she showed in the video, it's like a very light and airy and there's like puff stitches happening. But I was like, as soon as I uh, I looked at my stash and I saw the pink grapefruit staring passion fruit sorry staring back at me 
I was like, oh, this might make a really nice shawl. And so this is what's happening so far. Um, and I re I'm really liking it so far. So I'm going to continue this. And as you know, sometimes when I have a pattern that becomes a favorite, I end up using doing using it for many different projects. So we'll see for these two what happens. But I think this is, these are so pretty as well. And I'm really excited to use them. So um, I wasn't sure how these would work up um, because I haven't really used this kind of yarn before, um, even though it's a, a cotton acrylic blend. Um, I wasn't sure if it would be kind of tight with the stitching. Like I knew there would be really good stitch definition because I've seen other people's projects using the Karen Blossom Cakes. And so I knew that, okay, there's going to be great stitch definition, but what kind of pattern would show off that definition? So, I mean, you tell me, do you think this is showing it off well? I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sold, but I think, I think it's a, it's a decent use of this yarn. I mean, it's definitely colorful and it's definitely, um, airy enough to be a shawl and hopefully it's a, you know, it's, it's not meant to be a warm, snuggly blanket, but it's meant to just give some comfort so that somebody could be wearing it um, while they're getting their treatment. And you know, they get to wear something beautiful and they get to wear something that's handmade. So um, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. It's really fun for me to try out these uh, new yarns and to let you know what's happening in my world. Um, I'm really excited to donate my makes this coming week. Um, and now I'm moving into shawl mode. Um, I probably will be making some uh, caps as well for the cancer patients coming up soon. Uh, but yeah, that's what's happening right now. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And definitely leave me a comment and let me know what you think of these yarns, whether you've used them before or, you know, which colors you like. Um, I hope you have a wonderful crocheted day and I'll see you again soon.